Hey guys, it's me, and this is a video on how to get put IPFL to your iPhone or iPod Touch version 2.1. Not 2.0 or anything lower. Only 2.1. And this only works for first generation iP uh, iPod Touch and all the other iPhones. As you can see, I got Spore or Oregons. It's an awesome game. But, uh, so, what you really want to do for now is you want to get the, your IPA files. To get your IPA files, what you want to do on your computer, go to your internet. Go to, hold on. Go on to www. Oops. www. i. Aussie. dot webs. dot com. This is my website, but it has a lot of IPAs. Go there and there's a whole list, okay? Just hit one, just download it, and then you should be fine. Okay. So, I'm already downloading one. Yeah. But first off, what, you can't just add the um, files onto iTunes. Well, not yet. Okay, what you want to do is go into this website www.sensepace.com slash file slash blah 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 I'll put it in the description okay you're gonna have to download something called mobile installation okay now once you're downloading that put it onto your desktop it should look something like this now once you have that you want to SSH onto your touch if you don't if you don't have it that if you don't know how to SSH, just watch the YouTube video in the description and I'll show you how to SSH and all the programs that you use for SSH. The program I'm using right now is um, WinSCP. I have a Windows uh, P, I have a Windows XP, so I use WinSCP. You can download it in the description. And you have to use Wi-Fi for this, okay? SSH. What you really want to do is jailbreak iPod Touch. See that? The video is in the description. And it should be on. It should be on the. Go. On, uh, it should be 2.1 the file, and go on to Cydia and uh, get OpenSSH if you have it. If you already have it, then click on your Wi-Fi, the little arrow, and type your IP address right there. Okay. Right now, mine is 192.16.1.6. I already saved it, but I'll just do it in host name. The host name is your IP address. 2.168.1.6. Now the username is root. Password is alpine. Okay. Now you can just save it. I resave it so I don't have to. Now once you press login, it's gonna. You're gonna have to do it. Oh, make sure your iPod Touch isn't like this, or else you can't find it. You have to always keep it like this. If you don't know how to do that, go into settings, general, auto lock, and set it to never, okay? Because you don't want it to go, oh, you don't want the thing to not connect, the when a CP. Just reconnect, should be connecting, and there we go, connected. Now what you want to do is go here, go click on uh, forward slash root, this one. Now you want to go into system. Library, private frameworks. Scroll all the way down till you see mobile installation right there. Now I already have it, but once you're there, you'll only see one mobile installation. What you want to do is right-click it, just rename, rename mobile installation one. Okay. And after that, you want to get your mobile installation the one that you downloaded and drag it right in here okay and don't rename it or anything just drag it and then it should say mobile installation this one allows you to put IPA files on right there I want to get out when SCP, SCP and restart your iPhone now when you're restarting it's not going to restart automatically sometimes it'll just bring you to a new iPod touch but everywhere will be gray saying on the top safe mode instead of the time 
what you want to do is just turn it off and turn it back on and then it will be back to normal okay and then you can get uh, and then you just download get your downloaded um downloaded ipa file look for it get it drag it in outside the desktop x x now what you want to do is go into itunes okay down. Grab it, push it like real close to iTunes, drag iTunes right over there, drag the IPA file into the applications, okay? Take a while, that should take a while. And now, once it's there, you should see the thing that you put in, that I can't find right now. Well, anyways, it should be there. Oh, right there. Okay. But if oh wait, sorry, right over there. <laughs> so and then once you put everything in, let's go back onto your iPod, plug it in. Make sure iTunes isn't on when you're SSHing. Okay. Make sure. Now just press sync. Okay. Now I'll be back once it's done syncing, and I'll show you my application. Okay. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and um, as you can see, this is the uh, app that I had, and it says iPod Sync is complete. Okay, to disconnect, and in my applications, here it is. Here it is. Just press on it. Show you it actually works, and yes, it works. Oh my God, it works. Now, that's all. So, see you guys.